As a DBA, one of the biggest fears you have, especially when it's out of hours, is that someone will run a query that will absolutely bring your server to its knees. And let's face it, the problem is nowadays is most of the people that use our computer systems were brought up in the age of Google and Bing and other search engines where they have an expectation that they can just type in any phrase and have the entire database searched quickly and efficiently. Therefore, most applications nowadays always have some form of ad hoc search. And ad hoc is a four letter word when you're a DBA because it means some of the most ginormous complex SQLs might result therefore crashing your server or at least crippling it for other people's usage. For those situations, I like to have an insurance policy and that insurance policy is no matter what the front end is, I'd like to be able to put a cap on how long a query can run. And Resource Manager is the perfect tool for that. Here's a nice easy way of making sure that no one can absolutely smash your server with a single query. First thing we do is create a pending area. You can think of this as a resource manager transaction, so to speak, in that we might be creating several elements and we want all of them to work or none of them to work. Now we need a consumer group that our users will all be placed into, or at least those users that we want to control with this resource manager plan. I'm gonna call it cancel on long execution, which tells us that this will be the group that when people are placed into it, will have some caps on their SQL execution time. Consumer groups go into resource manager plans. I'll create a plan. The name of my plan will be execution time limit and my consumer groups will sit inside that. Plans consist of plan directives and those plan directives will be applied to consumer groups. They can be applied to other things, but in this case, we're going to create a plan directive and it's going to go against our execution time limit plan that we just created and it's going to go against the consumer group cancel on long execution. We'll add a comment for self-documenting purposes. And what we're going to do is we're going to switch into the cancel SQL, which is one of the predefined resource manager consumer groups, which immediately stops the current running execution. We nominate the time, which means after 10 seconds, we will switch from your current consumer group into the cancel SQL user group. And it only switches for the current call, which means once your call has been canceled, you fall back to your existing consumer group, namely, cancel on long execution, which effectively resets you back to being able to run queries again. If you're going to have users that are not going to go into this consumer group, then like all resource manager plans, we create a directive for the other groups into which all the other users can fall into. We now validate that pending area to make sure that everything's correct. And if we pass through there, then we'll be able to submit the pending area. My PLSQL routine runs fine, which means that resource manager plan has been created with all the various rules. Of course, it's not currently active yet. We've simply created the plan. Being able to use a consumer group is a privilege because it's not just about canceling SQLs. Sometimes consumer groups give you elevated access to more resources. So in this case, we're gonna allow Scott to be placed into this user group. So we grant a switch on consumer group and Scott is allowed to go into that consumer group. Now all is in readiness. We can turn on that new resource manager plan at system level, which means those users that get placed into the cancel on long execution consumer group will now fall into that 10 second limit on SQL execution times. Let's now give it a run. I'll connect to Scott on this pluggable database. And typically we might set the initial consumer group to Scott to be that cancellation one, or we might do it with a login trigger I'll simply set it manually in this session just so we can quickly demonstrate the facility. So now that we've switched Scott into the cancel on long execution, he should now have a cap on his execution times. I'll do a simple query first, select count star from all source. We can see that finished in 0.3 of a second and therefore there was no interruption to his service. Let's now say Scott runs a query against all source joined to itself, but they've forgotten the join condition that's going to run forever because it's 205,000 rows times 205,000 rows. But luckily, this is not going to cripple our server because after about 10 seconds, which is the limit we put on our consumer group, we immediately cancel that SQL. The session is still there, so Scott hasn't been damaged too greatly, but at least we've got that cap now on the length of SQLs that Scott is allowed to run. So just a simple resource manager plan, even if you don't use all the exotic parts of resource manager, just having that one cap on execution times 
might be just the insurance policy you need to make sure your server is never brought to its knees by someone who had the best intentions but ended up with the worst of SQLs.